Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael Belserik, and if you don't know, I make YouTube videos about everything and anything about my life. Alright guys, welcome back. I know it's been almost two weeks, going on three weeks since we made a video. We've just been super, super busy because someone here finished her last test that she needed to finish for her. My PT program. So that was super exciting. We've put all our energy and everything into that. I really didn't do anything. I was just there for moral support, to be honest. <laughs> she put all her energy into it. And I just said, hey, you can do it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start the cooking process of the musabi. So the first thing you need, obviously, is your trusty span here. You're going to need your rice. Now the rice is crucial in this whole recipe. It has to be short grain rice, not long grain, because it sticks better than the long grain, but also, our teriyaki sauce. This is very crucial as well. Uh, you can make your own teriyaki sauce as well. It's super easy, just soy sauce and sugar. Um, we're gonna cheat now, I because I don't feel like making soy, I mean, I don't feel like making teriyaki sauce. I did last time we did this, but we're gonna go ahead and cheat and just get teriyaki sauce. So the first thing we need to do is make the rice. <laughs> All right guys, so if you don't have a rice cooker, you can do it on the stove, you can follow the instructions all the instructions how to cook it. But we have a rice cooker here. Go ahead and show them. So we're gonna go ahead and put how much rice in here? Three cups. Three cups. So we're gonna, I can eyeball this. I've done it so long that I know what three cups looks like and stuff like that as well. So three cups. Now we have to wash our rice. And I'm not talking about um, soap and stuff like that. I'm talking, we just gotta rinse it. We gotta get rid of all the impurities, all the starch. So the way that you're gonna do that, uh, Kristen knows how to do this, she's a pro now. All right, now we're going to put some water in here. So it's still dry. We're gonna add water. So here is the rice. And as you can see, it's starchy, so we're gonna Clean it, no soap, no soap added. And then we're gonna pour it out, like so. Make sure you get my good angle. <laughs> and then you're gonna go ahead and keep doing that until it's not so starchy anymore. The water will start to become clear, yep. and that's when we stop. By the way, that hair flip though. What by the, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, Michael's like super like OCD about how his rice is made. He will not eat minute rice. He will only eat a certain kind. He has to have it done a certain way. Don't do it like this. That's perfectly fine. But he swears that it's the best way and tastes the best. So, just for your information. So where the rice is at, you're gonna put enough water to, over the top of the rice. So it should be about up to this part of your finger. So that's not enough. And then, We'll get that cooking, and we'll do this part next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, whoa. All right, guys, so as you saw, she did the rice very well. She does it very well, thanks to you. me. And thanks to Sister Leah. So the next thing you gotta do is open your can of Spam. We're using the regular Spam because we're not punks. We, we use Spam, the real Spam. No, None of that like low sodium stuff or anything like that. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your spam and we're going to just plop it out, okay? Like, oh, that's not plopping. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. 
<laughs> All right, remember I told you we're gonna use this for later, so do not throw this away. This is going to help us form everything. So don't throw this away, we're gonna use this later, all right? So you're gonna take your spam right here after it plopped out, okay? You are going to cut it, I guess diagonal, I don't know. Uh, you'll see, but like this. So you're gonna go ahead and cut it, probably about an eighth of an inch thick, as so. You can make them thinner, 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 or thicker, depending on how much the spam uh, you want and how many you're going to make. So you're just gonna go ahead and cut it right down. Super easy. Make sure if you're underage, ask your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, whoever you live with. Yeah, we'll leave that one there. So we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight slices there. Um, very, as you can see, they're pretty even as much as possible, except for that last one. But like I said, about an eighth of an inch right there. That's all you need to do to the spam right now. We gotta cook the spam as well, and that's where the actual teriyaki sauce is gonna come in play right now, okay? So while this is cooking, the rice that Kristen put on, we're gonna go ahead and cook this spam. We're gonna go ahead and cook it two different ways. Uh, we're gonna cook half, well actually we'll go, since there's eight of them, we'll do three without teriyaki sauce, and then we'll go ahead and do five with teriyaki sauce. I think that's good, you think so? Mm -hmm. So like we'll have at least a variety of things as well too. So we're gonna go ahead and cook these up real quick. We're gonna take this, make sure you put your knife over here because you will not need your knife anymore. Come over here. We're gonna go ahead and move our fake fruit. Well, not really fake, they're real. Okay, we're gonna move it over here, okay? We'll move them over here. We're gonna go ahead, as you can tell, we're not ready for this yet. We're gonna get a pan, just like this. Now, how you're gonna cook this spam right now, ladies and gentlemen, is, is on a nonstick uh, pan. Doesn't matter what kind of pan you use, as long as you like to do dishes, that's the part that you had to decide. But we're gonna use a non-stick pan because it works pretty well, I think. And I like, it's not working. There it goes. <laughs> she told me to hit it, so I hit it. Um, let me get it something. We're going to need a plate to place this spam on as well. You got some chesty, dusty, well not dusty, just some songs. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm saying to be honest. You gotta get yourself some tongs, some good ones. We're using these ones because it's not gonna scratch the actual pan itself, all right? So get yourself some tongs. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of olive oil in there. It doesn't matter what kind of oil you use. We're using olive oil because of the taste and olive oil has a very nice taste to it. Um, you have to be careful with olive oil though because the smoking point is lower than most oils. You don't wanna make your house smell like burnt olive oil, so keep that in mind. Uh, we put it at about medium heat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put three tablespoons in just due to the fact that we do have eight of them and that is going to come in handy later on. So. This whole quarantine thing has me not getting a haircut in the longest time, so, and I got tired of wearing hats, and so I go ahead and, I bought this bandana today, and ever since I started wearing it, she's been making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you, it just, this is the first day wearing it, and I've never seen him wear a bandana, and so, it's just different. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour it in there. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you can buy these at your local grocery stores, unless you're, actually, Bashers does have it, so. I think every grocery store should have it. It is just this seaweed paper, all you have to do, all right? So what you wanna do, and these ones are fully attacked, but what you wanna do is you wanna cut them into shapes like this, all right? So you're gonna cut them into thirds. So that's a full sheet? This is a full sheet, and you're gonna get three of them out like this. So one, oh sorry, one, two, three. Now the best way that I found to do this is actually use scissors. And I don't have my scissors. I thought they were up here. 
Kristen found the scissors, so she's gonna go ahead and cut these papers up. I'm being... You gotta make sure they're straight, because if they're not straight... Just kidding. It's not that important. Just gotta make sure they're about the same size. And... I feel like I'm doing like a project. Get your arts and crafts in at the same time? Yep. So this is four. Hot dog, hot dog. Fold it like a hot dog. Hot dog style. All right, so you want to make sure that they stay like that on one side till it browns up. I would say about a minute and a half to two minutes because the heat is a medium. So Kristen did a very good job actually portioning these on there. So it's gonna go pretty quick. Thank you. But yeah, I don't eat fry bread very much. If I do, it's with stew. What's my favorite stew? Omni stew. Sick. No. <laughs> what? The heck? What is your favorite you stew? You think you know someone. Vegetable stew? Steam corn. What's my favorite thing to get at a mutton stand? A mutton sandwich with no green chili, with fry bread, and a Dr. Pepper. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> now it is time to flip the spam. You ready? All right, so we're about to flip the spam now. You want to go ahead and flip that first one to show the people. You can see that it's brown. So that's pretty good. That's what we're looking for. So you can see that they are a little bit, I wouldn't say, yeah, I would say brown, but you can see that they're cooked. We're going to go ahead and let that cook for another minute and a half or so. And then we'll go ahead and cook the other ones as well. We're gonna do chick dog pants. Ready? So this is how you do it. Yeah. Now get out with. She's all TikTok famous. No, I'm not. Everybody go check her TikTok out. I'll leave it down below. <laughs> She's all. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off now and put the last two in to cook as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and get to the teriyaki sauce and how we gotta cook it with it as well, so. So we're gonna go ahead and put the napkin on there for now. This is just to take a little bit of the grease off. Uh, that napkin will go away because we're gonna cook these again, but with the teriyaki sauce. I was like, again? You will see. So the way that you're gonna do this is you're going to take the Spam that you want to cook with teriyaki sauce. And in this case, we have five of them we wanna cook with it, right? So you're gonna go ahead and put those Spam back on there, but you're gonna go ahead and pour this in there as well, because what it's gonna do is it's going to render, like I said, but it's gonna coat the Spam and it's gonna make it thick with two C's. You guys don't remember that? Her Jonas brother, Nick person with five C's. Weirdo. Anyways, uh, that's what this is gonna look like and I'll show you right now. All right, go ahead and pour it in there. You wanna coat the plate. Let's keep going. Come on, I'm doing it. We have it at low right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a little bit more, baby. Coat the plate, that means. There you go. So as you guys can see, it's kind of bubbling up and that's fine. You're gonna let this sit for about, like I said, another minute and a half or two, and then you're gonna go ahead and flip them, all right? While we're waiting for these minute and a half or two before we flip the Spam, just a service announcement. She'll be graduating on? June 5th. June 5th with? My doctor in physical therapy. She's a smart one. All right, so go ahead and flip them. Flip, flip. Flip. So you can see that they darken just a little bit. Now on this last side, we're gonna go ahead and turn the heat up to about medium. Cause this is gonna, dang your elbows on the way. It's gonna help render that sugar inside the teriyaki sauce. And it's gonna bubble up a little bit more. It's gonna thicken up and that's what we wanna do. We're gonna go ahead and take the Spam over here as well. Um, we don't want this paper towel anymore because it caught up all the grease and that's perfectly fine. And see, look at that. 
Dang. Look at my rice. Look at my rice. And look at her rice. Dang. So it's still <laughs> cooking. When it pops up, it'll say warm, but you can see that it's almost done. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have all the ingredients we need here. We have the Spam, the one with the teriyaki, and the one that's just cooked regular. We have our plate here that we're gonna plate everything on so it looks nice. We have our three cups of rice. So the first thing you're going to do is, first of all, these are the seaweed paper that Kristen cut so neatly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna take your can, mm -hmm. you're gonna take a spoon, you're gonna go ahead and put rice in there. Go ahead, grab some rice and put it in. I'm gonna put one of these right here. Um, just go ahead and push it down. There are two sides. There's a soft side and there's a rigid side. You want the rigid side to face up. That's where you're gonna place everything at. Cause when you wrap it at the end, you're gonna go ahead and uh, just fold it over. Okay, that should be good. Now go ahead and push it all the way to the bottom. Here, uh, you wanna take your spam and put it there and push it all the way down. You can use your hands. I, I found it easier to use a spoon. On this next part, I'll go ahead and do this and you can do it uh, as well. As you can see with the saran wrap, it's kind of janky. That's a good part. You can just go ahead and fold it together. You're gonna pull it out. As you can see, now you have yourself a nice little roll here. You can take this part, you're gonna face it downwards. Mm -hmm. and go ahead and wrap it. And, yeah. And then you're gonna go ahead and set it on this plate, this side down, yeah. Perfect, so there's your first one. Uh, the first one's always a measurement tool. We're gonna wanna put a little bit more rice in there next time, just so that it evens out, and that's perfectly fine. So, compared to that one. Uh, rice down. You wanna wrap it over, like we said earlier. Ridge up, flat side down. Sometimes, if you want, you can take some rice here because it is sticky rice. You wanna go ahead and put some of that at the end. And if you wanna do that, just Flap it over. And to be honest, that looks a lot more appealing than that first one. So I don't mind how that's going to look. All right, guys, we're back. We cleaned up. We're going to go ahead and give these a try. This is the one I said I would take because for whatever reason, I'll take this one. Remember, these three right here are the ones without teriyaki. I'll eat this one. All right. We're going to take our first bites. Well, we've had this before, but our first bites for these ones. Mm-hmm. 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 Super good. really good. Mm -hmm. I think the the rice came out well. The, the way you cooked it obviously came out good. You did the spam very well. You wrapped them very well. It's really good guys. It honestly doesn't take that long. When it only took a little longer now because we're making a video. Yeah. But literally I made this in less than 20 minutes. The longest thing was the rice cooking. But when, I, when you do it without the video and everything like that, uh, it's really fast, it's like 20 minutes tops. Just boom, 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 assemble everything. And like I said, the can, it only took a while because we're trying to show you guys, but that's super, super fast. I don't think that this is gonna take a long time. It only took long, it only took, lo it took longer because we were trying to show you guys and make a video and all that kind of stuff as well too, so. We're gonna go ahead and finish up here and eating, or finish up eating. Uh, we wanna thank you guys for watching. We hope everyone's staying safe out there and doing what they need to do, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Any last words for the people? Mm, um, happy graduation to all graduates. Yeah, all you 2020, good job. good job. Very proud of you guys, you guys did well. Mm -hmm. uh, follow us on all our social media. I'll leave it down below. Once again, follow her on our TikTok. <laughs> Go follow her. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.
I told you, I explained it to the people. You're not wanting to listen. <laughs> I just want to eat now. She's I'm not talking, you know. <laughs>